Hello everybody watching this video. This is the first video of my vocabulary boost series. This playlist goal is to learn and review vocabulary that is required by tests like TOEFL, IELTS and jury. The most effective way of studying vocabulary is to learn words by examples, learn their other forms, do a Google search and see some pictures, examples and if it's possible to read something on the web. So let's get started. Solidarity. It's an noun meaning standing together despite pressure to move apart. It means unity. Examples. Number one. The vote was a show of solidarity. Number two. Many student groups declared solidarity with the Latin Student Association in their effort to get Hispanic to get a Spanish speaking principal. Number three. Factory workers voiced solidarity with the striking students. Solidarity. Precaution. It's a noun meaning caretaking in advance, foresight, and the second meaning of precaution is a measure taken beforehand to prevent harm or secure good, safeguard, preventive. Examples number one, be sure to follow the usual safety precautions when cooking outdoors. Number two, when driving, she always wears her seatbelt as a precaution. Number three, she took the precaution of packing extra medicine for the trip. Precaution. Precaution. The adjective form of precaution is precautionary. Precautionary means intended to prevent something unpleasant or dangerous from happening. Example. As a precautionary measure, she moved her money to another account. The test. The test is a verb meaning to hate someone or something very much. Synonyms of the test are apple, abominate, despise, loathe. Antonyms of the test are love and like. Examples. Example number one. They might be detested or mocked, but they could certainly not be ignored. Number two. She detested traveling in hot weather. Number three. I detest having to get up when it's dark outside. Detest. The noun form of detest is detestation, and it means the feeling of hating someone or something very much. Example number one. He looked at her with detestation. Number two, she was motivated by her detestation of in, our injustice. The adjective form of the test is detestable, and it is used to refer to people or things that you hate very much. Example number one, detestable coward. Number two, I think that is detestable method of assisting anybody. I think that is detestable method of assisting anybody. And the adverb, adverb form of the test is detestably. Detestably means in a way that deserves to be hated. Example number one. His behavior has been detestably bad. Number two. He criticized her as detestably hypocritical. Isnia. It can be used as a noun or as a verb. And when it's used as a verb, it means to talk about or look at somebody or something in, a, in an unkind way that shows you don't respect or approve of him, her or it. And when it's used as a noun, it means an unkind expression on your face that shows you don't respect or approve of someone or something. Example number one. You may, you may sneer, but a lot of people like this kind of music. Number two. How much did you say you and last year? She said with a sneer. Number three. She will probably sneer at my new shoes because they are not expensive. Number four. When offered a dime as a tip, the taxi driver sneered at his rider. Sneer. Scowl. When it's used as a verb, it means to look at someone or something, uh, at something with a very annoyed expression. And usually it's made by bringing eyebrows together. And when it's used as a noun, it means very... A very annoyed expression. Example number one. She was clearly annoyed, as you could tell from the scowl on her face. Number two. He opened the door again, not bothering to hide his fierce scowl. Number three. When I asked the boss for a day off, he just scowled and told me to get back to get back to work. Number four. She scowled down. She scowled down at the misbehaving child. Number five. The teacher gave me a scowl when I walked in late. A scowl. Fugitive. Which used as an adjective, it means elusive, slippery, wandering, lasting for a short time. Transient. And when it's used as a noun, it means run away, refugee. Examples. Number one. A fugitive slave. 
a fugitive debtor. Number two, the fugitive clouds of the sky. Number three, thousands of fugitives are fleeing from the war-torn area. Number four, the journalist is concerned only with the fugitive moment. Number five, died with fugitive colors. Fugitive. Calamity. It's a noun meaning a disastrous event marked by great loss or lasting distress and suffering. Its synonyms can be listed as disaster, tragedy, catastrophe, cataclysm, apocalypse, crisis. Examples. Number one. Calamities of nature. Number two. An economic calamity. Number three. A series of calamities ruined them. Floods, a failed harvest, and the death of a son. Number four. Failure in one exam shouldn't be regarded as a calamity. Calamity. Calamitous is the adjective form of calamity, meaning causing great damage or suffering. Examples. Number one. A calamitous war. Number two. Global warming of five degrees could be calamitous. Number three. The nuclear reactor overheated to potentially calamitous levels. Cataclysm. It's a noun meaning an extremely destructive event or violent change. Synonyms are calamity, catastrophe, crisis, disaster, tragedy. And the adjective form of cataclysm is cataclysmic. Examples. Number one. Environmental, natural cataclysms. Number two. It was a problem to solve, but it was no cataclysm. Number three, the circumstances have been altered by this great cataclysm of the world in a, in a manner which no human being could have anticipated. Number four, this city has just experienced a cataclysmic flood. Cataclysm. Coronavirus cataclysm. Apocalypse. It means it's a noun meaning a very serious event resulting in great destruction and change. And when it's used with V, it means the total destruction and the end of the world. Example number one. The book offers a vision of the future in which there is a great nuclear apocalypse. Example number two. He has perceived countless apocalypses and is ruthless in acting to prevent them. Whatever the cost. Number three. Apocalypses can be viewed as good, evil, ambiguous, or neutral, depending on the particular re religion or belief system promoting them. Number four, his book tells of an environmental apocalypse. Number five, the fear that the next global pandemic could be an apocalypse of biblical proportions. Apocalypse, a zombie apocalypse. The adjective form of apocalypse Apocalypse is apocalyptic and it means showing or describing the total destruction and end of the world or extremely bad future events. Examples. Number one. Apocalyptic visions of a nuclear confrontation. Number two. Apocalyptic warnings about our destruction of the environment. Number three. No one, no one listened to her apocalyptic predictions. Number four. A less apocalyptic view of the future. Popper. It's a noun and it means a very poor person, a destitute person. Examples. Number one. In other words, as the report of the survey suggests, the best way to prevent poverty is to allow paupers to form families. Number two. Can working hard prevent ending up as a pauper? Number three. Barcelona, a billion dollars in debt, must build a squad to meet, sp to meet, it, to meet its princely ambitions on a pauper's budget. Number four. The fire that destroyed his factory made Mr. Blossom a pauper. Pauper, the prince and the pauper by Mark Twain. Pauperism. It means poverty, a state of being poor. Example. He was poor to the degree of pauperism. He had an incurable disease and he was absolutely in the power of tyrants. Prosecute. It's a verb meaning bringing before a court following up, carrying on. Its synonyms are execute, follow through. In these three examples, prosecute means to bring before a court. And in the next two examples, it means to follow, to carry on. Example number one, drunken, dri drunken drivers should be prosecuted. Number two, 
the district attorney refused to prosecute the case for the lack of evidence. Number three, the banker was prosecuted for fraud. Number four, he seemed convinced that the U.S. would prosecute the war to its end. Number five, she criticized the government for the way it has prosecuted the war. Prosecute. The noun form of prosecute is prosecution. It means the act of prosecuting someone or the act of taking part in a planned set of activities like war. Example number one, the company faces prosecution for breaches of safety regulations. Number two, they decided to bring a private prosecution against the boy's alleged killers. Number three, she was granted full immunity from prosecution by the state in return for her testimony. Prosecutor. Prosecutor is a legal officer who accuses, who accuses someone, of, uh, someone of committing a crime, especially in a law court. Example number one. The tape recordings provided prosecutors with the evidence they needed to prove he had been involved in the conspiracy. Number two. Federal prosecutors intend to retry the case. Prosecutional. It's an adjective form of prosecute. And it is related to the process of prosecuting someone, or it relates to a prosecutor. Example number one, the process by which the Justice Department makes prosecutional decisions. Prosecutional decisions are decisions made to prosecute, or decisions to prosecute. Number two, his prosecutional zeal. Uh, zeal means eagerness, and prosecutional zeal means eagerness to prosecute others. Number three, evidence of prosecutional misconduct, um, wrong behavior by the prosecutor. Bigamy. Bigamy is a noun meaning the crime of marrying a person while already legally married, being married to someone else. Examples. Number one, moreover, a conviction for bigamy would seem to be extremely difficult to obtain. Number two, the woman had been deceived and the man had committed bigamy. Number three, the great deal of unhappiness is being created by bigamy. Number four, he was accused of bigamy. Number five, photos and footage later would be used as evidence in his bigamy trial. Bigamy. Bigamist. Bigamist is someone who marries a person while already legally is legally married to someone else. Examples. 1. He was accused of being a bigamist. 2. The marriage is not valid if one spouse is bigamist. 3. He turns out to be an imposter and a bigamist. The adjective form of bigamy is bigamous and it means being married to someone while already legally being married to someone else. Examples. Number 1. She was not ready to tell the story of her bigamous husband. Number two, a bigamous marriage. Number three, he was killed by his bigamous wife. Number four, she angrily denied that her marriage was bigamous. The adverb form of bigamy is bigamously, and it means while already legally married to someone else. Examples. One, he bigamously married her in 1968. Number two, she has been married for four times, once bigamously. Three, how can you be sure that he hasn't married you bigamously? And the related words of bigamy are monogamy, polymor poly polyamory, and polygamy. Monogamy means being married to one person. Polyamory and polygamy means being married to more than one person. Polyamory means uh, having more than one husband. And polygamy means having more than one wife quench it's a verb uh, and it has three meanings the first one is to drink water or beverage so that you stop being thirsty its second meaning is to use water to put out a fire or to extinguish a fire and its third meaning is to satisfy a need of wish example number one quench glowing coals with water Number two, a rational understanding of the, laws on, of the laws of nature can quench impossible desires. Three, when it's hot, it's best to quench your thirst with water. 
Number four, the flames were quenched by a heavy rain. Number five, her thirst for knowledge will never be quenched. Quench. Unquenchable. Unquenchable is the adjective form of quench. It means and it is used for describing a feeling that is so strong that it cannot be satisfied. Example number one. An unquenchable thirst. An unquenchable desire. Two. Bell's curiosity was unquenchable, encompassing geography, ethnography, archaeology, history, politics, poetry, and more. 3. I have been accused of unquenchable optimism. 4. The chaff burns off with unquenchable fire. 5. The angels will separate the evil from the righteous and throw them into the furnace of unquenchable fire. Betray. It's a verb and it has two meanings. The first meaning is not to be loyal and the second meaning is to show feelings, thoughts or a particular characteristic without intending to. Example number one. If he is nervous on stage, he doesn't betray it. Number two. Although she often seems quite cold, her smiling eyes betray her true nature. Number three. Vargas plays the part of treacherous aristocrat who betrays his king and country betray synonyms of betray are backstab cross double cross sell out or sell and two time antonym of betray is standby and other forms uh, are betrayal betrayed betrayer betraying the adjectives are betrayed and betraying and the noun forms are betrayal and betray and betrayal means treason, disloyalty, treachery. Utter or other. And it has two meanings. And when it's used as a verb, it means to say something or to make sound with your voice. And when it's used as an adjective, it means complete or extreme. Example number one. She sat through the whole meeting without uttering a word. Two. Seth was surprised when he was told that he had other John's name by his sleep. Other confusion. Misery. Other misery. Other chaos. 4. The meeting was a complete and other waste of time. 5. Lying back in the hot bath was other bliss. Bliss means happiness. 6. She was utterly devastated when her husband died. And I uh, appreciate your time and attention. And in this first episode we reviewed and learned 15 words together.